here teaching K and one. In fact, she came this evening. Miss Tanessa, where are you? Raise your hand. She, there she's in the back row. She came to support me. I'm going to give her a hand. She's really amazing. She has taught these children for 39 years. And so she just hurts a big pat in the back, and her kids will love her. We're, uh, uh, we're hoping that she stays on, we'll never know, from year to year. I also want to thank all the fifth grade teachers who are here this evening, and Mr. Whitehead, who helped me so much today with sound, let me use the space, and um, oh, my custodial staff is really, really supportive, too. So please give them a hand. And I'm going to ask that my fifth grade students in the front are really quiet for this and respectful. Choir works very hard, um, our spring choir. And I can tell when they come that they're very serious about singing. They're not there just to mess around and have fun. They're really there to make beautiful music. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, as you can see from our program, our whole entire program is a sort of a sailing rivers to the sea motive. <laughs> so uh, we hope that you enjoy all these sea songs. We're going to begin with a beautiful um, Melody that is inspired by the Native American. Thank you. 
kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing. And Matt said, Oh, you. So he was sent to bed without anything. <laughs> In Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a pride boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night. Very own room. 
waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end.
So um, we did a beautiful community unit this year. It was a lot of fun. Found some really cool websites uh, out there where you can um, just kind of click on it and there's all kinds of different styles of music you can play with ukulele online. And they pop the chords up for you and sometimes you can find songs with just one or two chords or three or four chords. And um, it's been a lot of fun with that. There's a lot of pop songs. The kids are, you know, recognized from on, uh, you know, all their popular favorite music stations. So, can you be close to here? And Fiona decided she would like to uh, demonstrate some of the skills we learned. She's going to play all four chords, the fact that we learned. Uh, and she'll be singing a song that you'll all recognize from your childhoods. <laughs> Called Sing Like Sing. <clears throat>
What? What are you looking at? The bones? Oh, what a nasty war for a man my darling husband. Where's that silly Columbus fellow that wants to sail the ocean blue or some long thing? I don't know why. Why he feel each, but if he can bring us back all the bridges, I think we ought to try. Darling, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs>
my little fifth graders go on. I've had them for a long time, and um, I always feel more connected to my fifth graders because of that, and I'm grateful to them for their hard work. I feel like we have mutual respect, and these particular fifth graders, like all body slope children, uh, show a lot of love to me. I had a bum knee, and I get a lot of, uh, can I help you, Mr. Parkwood? Can I open that door for you? Let me push this game. I mean, there's things they do constantly. Are you okay? How's your knee? You know, so they're just so loving and kind to me, and I just want to say thank you to that. You know, so big. It makes me feel like I can come to school and feel supported. And then uh, I just wish them the best in middle school. I hope they kind of go on into music and do something, whether it's uh, the band or the choir or maybe a dance team or anything that they can do to express themselves. You know, drama's great, everything's great. Sports are amazing. Uh, I had a lot of kids have to leave for a game tonight, and uh, I find myself playing varsity sports in college and, and high school, so I know that that's a huge part of growing up, too, being well-balanced. But anyway, um, best of luck to them and their future, and I hope they get to come back and visit me and not ever forget what they learned in music class at Body Slow. All right, we're gonna sing our last song up for you called Onward Canoe, and the words are significant in that they do speak sort of of a life continuing on. Um, with joy, and sometimes they have to carry their canoe uh, all over something uh, difficult, which is part of life too, but then they get to ride free again. So, uh, onward canoe.
fortunate they are to get to learn with Miss Claire Borkwin and Nate Noah. It's just amazing what they get to do. So fifth graders, can we give a big thank you to Miss Borkwin? fortunate to, to have what she does as a fifth grade teacher sort of release them for their practice. None of us could imagine pulling off what she does with that many students and so the skills are amazing. We, we appreciate that. Um, if, you're, if you're able tonight to help us hold the chairs, we'd so much appreciate that. There's a special way you can hold them and hang them up. But uh, thank you so much for uh, coming tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you can close your chair and put one on the wall, that would be great.